everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment as we look to get back on a win streak here on the free pick report in just a bit. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Real cool way to do it. You click on the link below this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a great way to give Doc Sports a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for that free $60 account. All right, here's what we got going for today on Tuesday. I've got a two for Tuesday in baseball. Two sides on Tuesday's card. A KO play in baseball leads the way. Tops the 2 0 report. Available at 11:30 a.m. Eastern, 8:30 a.m. Pacific time. Hey, listen, we suffered a tough one last night. We had the Yankees 4-2 uh, lead in the top of the ninth, and uh, they had two outs in the top of the ninth. Then they give up three runs to the Tampa Bay Rays and go on to take the loss. Unfortunately for us, we look to bounce right back in the win column with a 2-0 card on Tuesday in Major League Baseball. And we're talking some serious value in that KO play uh, as far as I'm concerned. You'll see why when you go check it out with the analysis. Of course, I put my analysis with every single pick that I post and release at DocSports.com. You'll always know uh, why I like a certain side or total uh, when you jump on board with me at Doc Sports. All right, besides that, a couple of quick notes. Still no WNBA. They didn't play Monday. They didn't play Tuesday. They'll be back in action on Wednesday. And as you know, we're on a 64% winning run in the WNBA with our last 22 picks. UFC later this week on Friday night. I do have likely a seven-unit play in the CFL going this week. Uh, just got to wait and make sure the lines are about where we think they'll be. But one of the games is looking like it could be a seven-unit play for us. You know how well we've done. 80% in the Canadian Football League this year, up almost $2,000 dollars for $100 per unit betters and now 109 and 75 in the CFL going back about a decade so we'll let you know by the way on Thursday's video if we decided to make a seven unit play out of that CFL selection for this week obviously going to wait and see where the lines are and uh, if they are where we think they will be then we'll have that big play again we'll let you know either way uh, come Thursday's video all right also quick note uh, again we will have our college football futures we're going to start posting those next week uh, here at Doc sports.com and on the YouTube channel. If you missed our NFL futures, go check out the YouTube channel. I've got seven over under win plays for this upcoming weekend, upcoming weekend, upcoming season in the NFL. And I posted them all on a video last week. So go check that out. It was up and posted during the all-star break. All right, let's get to the free pick for today. Uh, we're looking at the clash between Seattle and Oakland. We're like the underdog here. And right now, as I speak, they're on a plus a dollar 55. You've got two starting pitchers in in this matchup between Gonzalez and Mingdon, who are both much better on the road than they are on their home bump. Only one of those pitchers, obviously, gets to take advantage of his strength, and that is Seattle's Marco Gonzalez on Tuesday night. Uh, check out his numbers, not just on the road overall, but if you look at his last six outings, uh, both home and away, you'll see what he's done. He's been excellent. He's given up about 12 earned runs and 37 and a third innings pitch. He's only given up 44 base runners over that same time span, so he's pitching well both home and away of late last half, half dozen starts and again pitched well on the road basically all season long the flip side Daniel Mingdon not pitching well at home and his team the Oakland A's have not fared well against Marco Gonzalez last couple of times they faced him and uh, those were recent starts by Gonzalez and he's been able to get the job done against the Oakland A's we expect him to again here tonight so yeah they're an underdog and yeah they've been struggling but that pitching matchup leads us to believe that Seattle's got strong value at this price over Mangdon and the A's. So the Seattle Mariners plus the big price is our free play for Tuesday night. All right, listen, that's going to do it for us for Tuesday. Uh, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our next report. We'll talk to you then.